let's talk about the essential line and the what we typically say IR. In reality, it's near infrared. So I need to explain a little bit to that to you. So if when you look at uh, any of our pad systems and I turn these on, okay, let me turn it on. I don't know if you can see this on a camera, but you'll notice there's red lights and then there's ones that are in here in between that you cannot see. So anything over the nanometers of 800, in other words, our reds run at 660 nanometers, that's the vibration of the red light. The near-infrared lights run at 850. Anything over 800 is no longer visible to the eye. Anything that goes over 1000 is in the infrared area. So 800 to 1000 is near-infrared, over 1000 is infrared. So what is the difference between that? Near infrared is, is that of, it's closer to red than it is IR to begin with. Um, so it's used more for penetration and more for the um, reasons we would use red. And that is for affecting the mitochondria of the cell, for causing the healing to happen, to reduce inflammation. But they don't have all the negative back negatives that you have from infrared. So, because this is a smaller light and less um, invasive light than what we had in our pain-free pad, we didn't need to turn the IR off separately. It's doing its job, but it is not causing any kind of damage to your animals or any kind of problem to your animals. So you don't have to worry about it. It does not do the same as infrared does. So this near infrared is just basically getting deeper and doing the same thing as the red. So there's no issue with damage to the eye. There's no issue with overheating. There's no issue with tissues becoming overheated. So um, that's why we think it's 100% safe. So again, this is running at 850 nanometers. That is in the near infrared. It is not in the infrared um, spectrum of light.